Hello guys, how y'all doing at this moment in time? Just wanted to come on for a minute so I can talk to you um, about what's going on in Earth and uh, other things that's taking place. But first off, let's get into a prayer. And let me take off my hat. So I got a little rough hat. Um, I don't want y'all to look at my head like this. I know it look real rough, but come on. Um, thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us and guard us, protect us throughout this day, Father God, and lead us throughout this day. And I pray that you come through me, Father God, at this moment in time to give the people absolute truth, Lord. And I pray that the, you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment in time, Father God, to give the people absolute truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. My voice is about two seconds. Yeah, I didn't want to say that quick. It's a little loud right here. One second. All right, what I want to talk to you about now is uh, things um, that's going on in the earth right now, okay? So, what's going to go on is, what you're seeing is, I know y'all don't pay, so don't pay attention to the uh, news and things like that, that's good. Um, and I, all right, you know, it's good because what's going on is with that. Um, I know you probably seen a lot of um, police officers um, um, quitting and things like quitting all over the world. They like it's not just this state, that state. No, they quitting all over the world. Do you know why? Though? This is why. Because the Lord is coming. Do you know that most of these people are hooked and tied in to these wicked ones? That when they, um, before he comes, <laughs> which they're trying to come like, it's people, I told you, like, it's going to be people, it's people trying to run. Jesus is showing up. And I don't know if they probably told people or uh, like uh, they gave people hints that, yeah, like he's coming to judge, he's coming for uh, recompense and things like that. He's coming. He's, he's at the door, guys. Um, there's some things that's about to take on in this earth, which the children of God has inherited the earth. Um, they they inherit the earth, but at the same time, you got the um, police and all those people. Those people were involved in these things. They were involved in holding the, the children of God because the children of God has power. Do you understand how big these things are? And I tell you that the reason why these things are going on is because of the children of God and that God told him, told them to let his people go. Now that the things that they let the uh, children go, but they still trying to afflict us, right? Because <clears throat> they're trying to hold the people and still trying to um, do certain things to the people. But this is the thing, their time is up and they know their time is up. They have been afflicting people and been doing these things for History beyond history. Since Jesus' time, these folks have been doing this. He's been holding people 
against the will, doing things, um, and it's people that's in bondage and things and don't even know that you're in bondage. But he's, the Lord is releasing people. He's releasing us, okay, from this mundane world society. This mundane world society is been too far. Crash, okay? Like I told you, it's all. If you don't know, you seen my last video. It's going back to the beginning. These things are going back to the beginning. The Lord is coming. He's coming to rain. Um, he's coming to rain. Other things. Um, it's, it's, I told you, it's a lot of things that's tied into this. Um, it's people all over the world that's been tied into holding the people of God. Holding the real children of God. Do you understand? These things happen because the reason why they happen is because you have to be um, aware at this time of who you're around and who could be of such a such because I told you this is not the real life. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is not the real world. When you go to sleep at night, that is the real world. Okay? So, <clears throat> when these things go about, and um, you um, see these things take part. Now, what, what's going to go on is also, if you see like uh, a lot of people that's just like, um, and this is going to go for government, this is going to go for um, um, just people in real high places, people over companies that's been holding people, that, that's been doing things that's just outrageous, okay? So if you see these people just start to quit and start to just leave their businesses, start to just leave the um, leave their positions, like, uh, high positions and things like and you see them like move and get out of the way and like then you'll know that what I'm speaking to you is true because they're going to start to run the reason why they're going to start to run is because they know that Jesus is coming and those are what you call demons they are wicked people and they're going to try and run Okay. So, right now, it's already been started. People have started been running. Well, demons trying to be running. It's over with for the, uh, for the control thing. It's over with for all this pandemic stuff. It's over with. You understand? It is over with. Because they have been trying to hold, they, they did these things because of this. Like I told you in some of my videos, where um, what Hitler said, he said if the other countries would know what um, uh, uh, America has in in their hands, it is God's Jews, which was the people of God which was the children of God, which was the power that comes from God. They didn't tell you these things. The reason why they don't talk to you about these things is because these things are kept under the ground. People don't even know about these things. People don't speak upon these things because they have not the knowledge of Okay, but at the same time, it's in the Bible. It's in the Word. So, with these things being in the Word, and uh, everything that 
God has spoken to everything that God has spoken, which is um, um, and he said, for they endure for long for those inherit the earth and inherit the land. This is what the fight has been about. This earth. It's been fighting. It's, it's, this is what this fight has been about. The land. And people don't see these things because there's always something bigger behind what they're trying to portray. Okay. Um... Once you see these people starts to take off out of these seats and leave these companies and things like that, you're going to know it and you're going to see it. The reason why you're going to see it and you're going to know because the Lord is coming. The reason why the Lord is, he's going to be doing, um, he's going to be rendering judgment. <laughs> And the Father would be pouring out his wrath to uh, wickedness and ungodly things. So I pray that y'all take these messages and y'all at least go at you, go dig Jesus, go get on your knees. At this moment in time, right now is my, right now is the time. Ain't no time to be waiting for waiting to the time when he get ready to do. No, right now is the time. That's why I'm trying to talk to people and get so many people to ask to repent and ask for your forgiveness. Because he uh is on the seat, guys. And the father is there with him. So people of God, children of God, whatever you do, repent daily. You hear me? Make sure you should repent and ask for forgiveness of your sin. <clears throat> These things are, um, this is already taking place in the earth. Things that's been going on, they've been doing a lot of nonsense. So I pray that you, uh, I pray that you, uh, when you see these things, that you remove yourself from the wicked ones. This goes for family members. If you feel like something is going on, and some family members, friends, um, and you know that you're a child of God and you know people have been bashing you and trying to stop you from getting to God and stopping you from doing the things of God. Get away from around those people. Get, get away from around those people. It's over with for that. It's over with. Those are not your family members. Those are not your friends. It's over. God is your family man. God is your friend. Jesus, are you? Jesus, the angels, and God is your family members now. Those are not your friends. Those are not your family members. Well, what the people are about to see in this world, you're going to know it. In just a little bit, you're going to know it. And when you see it, it's going to put you in awe. But don't be in awe. Take off. Get out of Dodge. Get out of Dodge. And stay low key because you need to stay away from these people. You need to just be focused on God and what God wants you to do at this moment in time because it's about to take place and the things that the people of God, this is what's been going on. The people, the children of God is inheriting the earth. Okay? Uh, second is. Um, it's going to be like, uh, because there's been so much fighting and tussling against this thing. And they've been, they didn't want the real people uh, showing people who they really are. And they didn't want people um, who really wants to, um, like, 
be they didn't want the real children of God to come forth. For if the real children of God to come forth with their power, they can heal the world. They can heal things. But no, they don't want they didn't want that to happen because um oh they want to keep people in bondage and they want to keep the pharmaceutical things and the doctors and things going. When you got people that actually can heal people, you got people that actually can um, help this person um, mind can actually um, heal this person from his symptoms can actually do the things of the will of God. This is real. This is no gimmick. This is why they didn't want the people of God to be free. This is why they didn't want the children of God to be free. The children of God holds power, real power. Real power. Understand. This is what we're here for. But Jesus is coming. And when Jesus is coming, therefore, there will be healing. There will be love. And there will be peace on this earth. For it is time for all this wickedness and this nonsense and this all this dark matter to leave. If the people could see the things that I see, it would scare you. It would really frighten you. But most people run away from spiritual things because they know that they don't want to be a part of it. But whether you want to be or not be, God will come. <laughs> Rather you pick up the phone or not pick up the phone. <laughs> It'll make you pick up the phone. So I just want y'all to know that it's time to raise your vibration. It's time to elevate. It's time to come into your natural selves. Of who you're supposed to be. I told you. This is the supernatural world. For now. You will see the things. That all the old stuff shall fall away. And that you shall, you shall see. The new. And the new. So. Um, I, pray, I thank y'all for listening to these messages. This is. Um, getting to some fasting, some, some praying, some reading your word, um, uh, build a relationship with the Lord, commune with Him every day. Um, this is God's good news for you today, and uh, y'all be blessed. Amen.